Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The midwife at the Chapelton Community Hospital in Clarendon has been removed from frontline duties arising from an incident on November 4 where a pregnant woman was turned away from the facility. The woman eventually gave birth on the sidewalk outside the hospital. A new Gleaner Commission survey has found that 6 out of 10 Jamaicans head to private doctors instead of government-owned facilities when they have a health problem. And they say this is because of the long wait time, poor medical service and bad attitudes of some staff members in public facilities. A St. Andrew businesswoman has been charged with murder four months after she was issued a licensed firearm. Following a ruling by the DPP, 44-year-old Carleen Spence was charged with the September shooting death of a man at the Constant Spring Arcade. Vendors in the Carnation Market in downtown Kingston were sent scampering this morning as gunmen opened fire, killing 49-year-old Peter Nelson as he prepared goods for sale. Marlon Mitchell, the independent candidate for the Belfield Division in Manchester, has withdrawn his candidacy for the local government elections on November 28. In sports, Clarendon's Lennon High will meet St. Elizabeth Technical in Friday's final of the Issa Flo Ben Francis competition. Lennon advanced after beating Conwell College 1-0 in the semis in Santa Cruz today. In your weather forecast, on Wednesday morning, expect isolated showers across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be scattered showers. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.